so in this short video we will discuss about the poison distribution so remember one thing which is very important is poison distribution is a discrete distribution this is a discrete distribution so what is a discrete distribution we will see it later on when we discuss the poison distribution equation so what we will do is we will first see the formula for the poison distribution and then we will try to solve one or two problems so the poison distribution equation looks somewhat like this the probability of x equal to r this is equal to e power minus lambda times lambda to the power r divided by r factorial so now what is this x what is this r x is the random variable that we are taking x is the random variable this is the random variable and what is r r is simply the number of occurrences number of number of occurrences so r is the number of occurrences so now what is why am i calling this a discrete distribution so the poison distribution this is also known as discrete distribution because the value of this r the value of this r will be in the form of 0 1 2 3 4 like this the value of this r will be in the discrete form that is 0 1 2 3 4 like this that is we can calculate p x equal to 0 we can calculate p x equal to 1 we can calculate p x equal to 2 these we can calculate using the poison distribution that is the reason why it is known as a discrete distribution so the next thing is the next thing is what is the mean of this distribution what is the mean of the poison distribution mean of the poison distribution equals to lambda that is this value that i am writing over here e power minus lambda and lambda to the power r this lambda is nothing but the mean of this distribution so now the next question is what is the variance well the variance of the distribution is also lambda so the mean and the variance of a poison distribution is same let me write this down mean equals to variance mean equals to variance for poison distribution this is very important for poison distribution so next what we will do is we will solve a problem in order to get better understanding of this distribution so the problem that we have states the number of accidents happening at a city in a month follows poison distribution with mean equals to 5.2 so they have given the value of lambda equals to 5.2 the probability of occurrence of less than two accidents in a city in a randomly selected month is so because they have given that the accident follows the number of accident follows poison distribution hence we can easily use this uh, expression that is p x equal to r equals to e power minus lambda times lambda to the power r divided by r factorial but in this case it will be uh, the probability of occurrence of less than two accidents so what we need to find we need to find p x less than two this is what we need to find so this is simply equal to p x equal to zero plus p x equal to one this is what we need to calculate so what will be x equal to zero uh, so this can be written as e power minus 5.2 because the lambda is 5.2 which is the mean it is given over here that the mean is 5.2 so we can directly use it so e power minus 5.2 times lambda to the power r in this case r equal to 0 in this case r equal to 1 so lambda to the power r means 5.2 to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial plus p x equal to 1 so in this case what will it be e power minus lambda times again lambda to the power r so r is 1 so power 1 divided by 1 factorial so this is what we have so we can calculate this simply 5.2 to the power 0 is 1 this is also 1 0 factorial is 1 so the first term is nothing but e power minus e to the power minus 5.2 plus what will this be this will become 5.2 times e power minus 5.2 so if we do the math what we get is uh, let us take e power minus 5.2 common so 1 plus 5.2 so what will this become 6.2 into e power minus 5.2 so if we solve this if we solve this the answer will be 0 0.0342 so this is the probability that is uh, the probability of less than two accidents uh, in a city in a randomly selected month so for this case the answer will be 0 0.0342 so this next question asks an observer counts 240 vehicles per hour at a specific highway location 
assume that the vehicle arrival rate at a location is poison distributed so what is the probability of at least two vehicles arriving over a 30 second time interval so they are asking that if i take a 30 second time interval what is the probability that at least two vehicles that is two vehicles or more than two vehicles will be arriving so let x be the random variable x be the random variable which random variable uh, which denotes the number of vehicles that arrive so here what we need to find is probability that x uh, equal to 2 or greater than 2 so this we can write as px greater than or equals to 2 this is what we need to calculate px greater than or equals to 2 this is what means uh, probability of at least two vehicles so this will be equal to probability x equal to 2 plus px equal to 3 plus px equal to 4 so this will go on this will go on so but uh, we need to do this in a short time so what we will do is there is a shortcut method to do this we will take this as px greater than equal to 2 can be written as 1 minus 1 minus px equal to 0 plus px equal to 1 so the, we can write this uh, in this way also 1 is the entire thing 1 is the entire probability 1 minus px equal to 0 plus px equal to 1 if i do this i will get the same result as the one above so i don't i don't need to calculate the entire thing so if we solve this what we will get is uh, first we have to calculate the mean they have not given us the mean directly so we need to calculate it so they have said 240 vehicles arrive per hour that means in 60 minutes in 60 minutes 240 vehicles arrive 240 vehicles arrive so in one minute in one minute 240 by 60 vehicles arrive that means uh, so this if i cancel four vehicles are arriving in one minute that means in 60 seconds i am getting four vehicles so in 30 seconds how many vehicles will be moving four by two so two vehicles and this is my mean this is nothing but the mean because they have asked to calculate in a 30 second time interval so in two for in one hour they have given 240 vehicles so in 30 second we have calculated that uh, two vehicles will be passing by so this is the mean in this case this is the mean in this case so if lambda equals to 2 we can easily solve the entire thing this will be equal to so what is px equal to 0 this is equals to e power minus lambda lambda to the power r by r factorial r equal to 0 so this become e power minus 2 times 2 to the power 0 by 0 factorial so this is simply e power minus 2 and what is px equal to 1 px equal to 1 is again e power minus lambda lambda to the power r by r factorial i am saying this again and again so that you can easily memorize this so this becomes e power minus 2 again but this case it will be 2 to the power 1 because r equal to 1 over here so 2 to the power 1 divided by 1 factorial so what is this this is equal to 2 times e power minus 2 so this is px equal to 0 and this is px equal to 1 now, so these are the two expressions that we have obtained for px equal to 1 we have obtained 2 e power minus 2 and for px equal to 0 we have obtained e power minus 2 so if we see the original expression that is px greater than equal to 2 it is equal to 1 minus px equal to 0 plus px equal to 1 this is what we have to do so this is equal to 1 minus 1 minus simply summation of this and this which is equal to 3 e power minus 2 so 3 e power minus 2 because 2 e power minus 2 and only e power minus 2 this will give us 3 e power minus 2 so 1 minus 3 e power minus 2 so this is equal to this is equal to 0 0.5939 so this is the value of the uh, probability in this case so what we have done is we have solved two problems we have solved two problems and we have seen a little introduction to what is the poison distribution so i don't want to make this video too long because i want this to be a short revision just before the exams so thank you